Hey guys and welcome to Miniature Heroes. So firstly, I just want to say a huge thank you to my first Patreon supporter Raymond. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's going to help towards materials for future builds. Really appreciate your support. So in this video, I will show you how I made these realistic looking stone pillars. These are for my D&D table, but they'll work for many other games like Frostgrave and other fantasy games. They are so easy to make. So to make the pillars, I'm going to use some XPS foam. I will leave a link in the description where you can buy this. There are many different types available, but this one is the one that I use in the UK. First is to cut the foam into 3 quarter inch squares, and these are going to be 5mm thick. You'll need 8 of these per pillar. Any off cuts, keep those aside for future builds, nothing has to go to waste. Next up is to cut some 1 inch squares, these are 5mm thick and you will need 2 of these per pillar. And finally is to cut some more of those 1 inch squares, but this time they will be 10mm thick and you will need 2 of these per pillar. Next is to take those 3 quarter inch squares and create some stone brick texture. I'm using a scalping tool but you can use a blade and a pencil to cut and bevel in that texture. These will fit together at the end, when you flip one over you can see how these will all connect together. So next up using a hot glue gun I glue 8 of these together. Just before the glue cools down, I place a little bit of pressure to get them to align as straight as possible. So next, to add more texture to the stone, using some foil, I roll this up and down the pillar and press it into the bricks. Next up, I take one of the 5mm 1 inch square blocks and one of the 10mm square blocks and hot glue those together. Then whilst holding the pillar on top of the block, I lightly score around it. So if you're enjoying the content so far and you'd like to see more videos like this, remember to hit the like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Next, taking a file, I fold the edges where I scored the line till it meets the stone below. I do this around all the sides and then I rough the stone up with some foil. Next is to hot glue both those ends to the pillar. So as these pillars are going to be a bit old and worn, some of these sharp edges, I just file them down. So to make the foam more firm and get the base coat down, I mix up some Mod Podge and black paint and cover this all over the pillars. So once the paint has dried, I applied a heavy dry brush of medium grey. You want to get full coverage of the grey paint whilst maintaining the black in those recessed areas. To highlight the stone texture, I give it a light brush of pale grey 
This is going to help create some depth and texture. To finish, I give it a wash of non-oil. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. For more content, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.